All right, Darnell here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, this is going to be day seven. If I mess that up, we'll put that in the comments. But day seven of the carnivore journey that I'm on. Um, decided to bring the fun outdoors because I've been kind of tired and funky in the mornings. Um, so that's the mental part of it. So the mental part of it is I've been tired and funky in the mornings. It's still taking me like an hour to get into a point where I can um, read and focus on close close up words. Hey, maybe that's because I'm 46 and I'm getting older and it's just my eyes degenerating or some crazy shit like that. But we'll see. Uh, overall, I think that it's that adaption phase that I've uh, read about with keto and no carb diets where when you're transitioning from the glucose sugar um, into the fat adaption, it's going to seriously like affect your body and your motivation but hey we'll see what happens all right uh physically i don't feel any problems i don't i don't know what i would expect physically uh to be right or wrong i don't have any joint pain i don't have any muscle pain i don't have any cramps um hey physically i think the only thing which is a pretty commonality between everybody that uh does this is your bowels change um but hey you're more diuretic. And from everything that I've read in people that are put on ketogenic diets for other things due to um, gut issues or anything like that, uh, with the lack of fiber in your diet, you are actually going to the bathroom much easier. Um, I know that our modern American society says that you need a lot of fiber in your diet so that you can poop regularly, but I believe that's a bunch of bull poop. Um, it just seems like eating all of that insoluble fiber would be like putting a bunch of hair down your toilet drain. Like it clogs up the system. So you wouldn't like take and cut a bunch of horse hair or other insoluble fiber and throw it down your drains. You would clog them up and have a huge plumber bill. So why would you do that to your body with a bunch of extra fiber um, added into your diet? Just makes sense to me. Um, yeah, so meals, um, been sticking on, uh, the breakfast, bacon, eggs, and pork sausage. The lunch I switched up today with just a can of tuna. And since the tuna doesn't have any fat, I did add in mayonnaise and a little bit of olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil. And my favorites, I love garlic. So, uh, I put some garlic salt in there and I keep saying garlic salt and garlic. I love garlic. So I put some garlic powder in there and salt. Um, I might move to fresh garlic with my steaks and everything. I know Costco has those huge bags of garlic. And so probably take one of those huge bags and roast it up kind of like as an easy addition to steaks or hamburgers or whatever else. Um, uh, the one change I have made recently is that I stopped putting tapatio on my morning breakfasts because with my system, like processing everything faster and easier, and maybe without the carbs or anything, those spices seem to be giving my guts a little bit of gurgle. My kids say that it's one of those things like, Dad, are you hungry? We can hear your stomach grumbling. Uh, but I don't think that's it. I think the uh, spices might be uh, upsetting my belly. And that's the first time. I used to grow habaneros in my backyard and have no problem eating spices. So this is kind of a, an interesting, fun change. And we'll see what happens. I think in a couple weeks I'm going to experiment because one of my stacks that I love is jalapeno poppers. And they kind of fit in except for the jalapeno because it's just cheese and bacon, right? So uh, we'll see how my stomach likes that. Thanks so much. Hit the notifications, hit the subscribe, do all that fun stuff so that you can keep watching some of these videos that I hope are going to get a lot better because I'm learning. All right. Thanks, son. Have a great day out there. Smile. Be happy.